Uh, welcome to this Cyberkin blog post about using a wonderful free open source program called GIMP. Uh, it's a uh, program for manipulating photographs and other graphic files. And this uh, lesson is about how to use three basic tools in GIMP. The Levels tool, the Curves tool, and the Sharpening tool. I have opened this photograph from Southeast Asia in Vietnam. Um, about um, Halong Bay, and we're going to first use the Levels tool on this. Go to the Colors menu, come down here and choose Levels, and you notice the histogram, the depiction of the distribution of pixels according to their color uh, in this photograph, uh, with uh, a gap on the right meaning that uh, there are some uh, pixels missing on the most colorful end. This is the extreme up here is pixels of all colors or white and on the other end of the spectrum these are pixels with no color in other words black. So we want to get rid of this blank space in the histogram. We drag that little triangle to the beginning of the presence of some pixels on the graph. Notice down here on the other end uh, there is a gap right here and I want to get rid of that gap so I'm going to drag that to the right to where some pixels begin and I don't know whether you were able to see in the photograph that things changed when I moved those sliders. Things got clearer. Uh, the photograph looks better than it did before. And if I move the middle slider, I can change the general distribution. I'm going to move that a little bit forward about in there. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to save that correction by clicking on the OK button. And now we're ready to go to another tool, the Curves tool. Go back to the Colors menu and select Curves. I'll move this over where you can see it. Here again is the histogram. And we can change the uh, lightness or darkness in this picture by dragging this curve with our cursor up or down try to stay on the vertical line and I can't, if I go to the mid-range on the middle of the line and drag it about up to that first line I get a nice pale sky blue sky and nice um, detail down here in the water I kinda like that curve I'm gonna save that curve by clicking on the OK button and the only thing that remains to be done is to correct the sharpness of this picture. It looks pretty good. We've got some wave detail down in here that might be sharpened a little bit. So we go to Filters, the Filters menu here, and hover over Enhance, and then click on Sharpen. That opens this little window and right now we're just seeing sky but if we move these scroll bars we can select different parts of that picture notice we're seeing part of the island now if I slide it to the right a little bit I'm gonna pick up some of those boats and I think that's what I, yeah that looks good you wanna settle on some detail in which you can see the results when you make the slider move to the right so you grab the sharpness slider and you move it to the right, increasing the sharpness of the photograph. And if you keep moving it to the right, you'll reach a point at which, boom, I don't know if you saw that in the little, little window, but you'll reach a point at which things pop right there. You can certainly see it. Um, the lines in the photograph just pop off the background. That is over sharpening. So you want to back off about halfway of the degree of the distance that you've covered and that will be a good uh, sharpening index. 
I'm going to leave it at about 48. And I'll, I'll leave it at 46. And then I'll click OK to save the sharpening. Now we have worked with the three tools. We simply need to save the file itself. So we go up here to the File menu. And we click either Save or Save As. I'll click Save this time. And notice the uh, suffix is XCF. That is a GIMP format. And it will not be readable by other programs, but that's okay because we can go back to that file later and export it in whatever other format we might wish, like a TIFF or a JPEG or a PNG, etc. But right now we will save it as XCF by clicking on the Save button. It's asking me if I want to replace the old file. I'll click Yes. And now it's saved. And that is how you work with the three tools in GIMP. The Levels tool, the Curves tool, and the Sharpening tool. Thanks for dropping by.